Okay, so you've just come back to the game after a few months of breaks and you have no idea what is going on. Why is the hub all weird? Dungeons is finally released? And who's Joe? Was he always in the game? Or alternatively, you're just playing the game and don't really know what to do next. Clearly, you're clueless. You're at some point in the game, probably mid or end game, and you want to get into all the new stuff. Well, spoiler alert, there isn't actually a whole lot of new content to explore if you haven't played in the last, like, 9 months, but hey, it's the thought that counts. I suppose the first thing everyone would be interested in going for is being ready for dungeons, and this really isn't as hard as you may think. So this video is gonna be split into two parts, or three parts, I don't know, whatever, three parts, yeah. The introduction which you're on now, the bit of early or mid-range players in like 20 seconds, and then a bit for late or end game players, whatever that's done. Alright, cool. How many seconds do I have left? Like, 12? Okay, um, subscribe, like the video, join our Discord server, um, uh, yeah, okay, that's it. So if you're an early or mid-game player, then chances are you're going to want to get to the end game to indulge in any of the content that Dungeons offers. This is not as difficult as you may think. Sure, you'll see all these people running around with their spirit scepters and expensive dragon pets, but realistically, they aren't necessary, and you can do just fine without that, but I'll get to that later. Getting to the late game is really a case of getting a relatively decent skill average and talisman set. Your first goal, if not already done, should be unlocking your redstone collection to match and getting your accessory back full as a result, and this is a case of setting up redstone minions and letting them run with a compactor and medium storage for a few days. Ideally, you're also going to want to get your skills up, at least combat 25 or 30, and keep your foraging level within 10 levels of your combat level. Those are the two skills that really matter, but also try not to neglect your other skills. On top of skills, you're going to want to try to save up 20 million coins, so yes, I suggest zealot grinding. Compared to bizarre flipping, it's not a great money method anymore, but if you want to grind combat whilst getting coins, it's the best way. Once your combat level is high enough and you have 20 million coins and a max accessory bag, fill that talisman bag with all the reasonably priced accessories and you're good to go. Consider yourself late game. Chances are, with your mid game strong or even unstable dragon armor or whatever, you can probably beat the entrance and first floor of dungeons pretty easily. And if you don't have any of them, then, well, buy it. From here, you need to pick a class. Any class will be affordable to play except for mage, because, like, everyone is going for mage, and the items are just way too expensive. I'll put some budget loadouts for each class on screen now, because I'm not gonna waste your time reading them out for, like, two minutes. And this should allow you to get yourself into floor 3, where you can grind up a few levels and begin to use dungeons items. Whether you grind it or buy it, adaptive armor with a relevant class helmet, like Mender Fedora for healers or Shadow Girls for a mage, and pet is good enough to do floor 4, and from there, you can basically grind dungeons. If you aren't interested in dungeons, then I suppose it's grinding coins and skills, nothing new. You can absolutely skip superior dragon armor as it's terrible for dungeons, only really good for slayers and generally a bit 70 million piss colored waste of coins. Anyway, yeah, I hope this video helped you get back on your feet if you've been stuck or if you're a returning player. Hope you have a nice day, take care of yourselves cuties, see ya.